the Ratzon of Hashem, which we said in the surrender stage, it's all good. I don't know what that good is. Bad is hidden good. If I, if I ordered something from Amazon and all I keep doing is looking at the box, then it's not good because I didn't get what I ordered, but it's in the box. So the key is, is no matter, every time you do achna, the key is to always be in that truthful reality of the definition of God is good. It's either hidden good, revealed good. It's either good now or going to be, or it's gonna show the good that I can't see right now, but it's it's always tov. It's always good, right? And um, we spoke about Yosef at Tzadik. Yosef at Tzadik at 17 is when he got sent off, right? 17, Kimiyan Tov, right? It's That's how he was able to see God. He was actually sent at the age, right? Of, of the definition of the essence of God, which is good. So his whole journey was to find good everywhere he went, in the pit, you know, and, and all the time to just see the good. And that that's what enabled him to survive. And that's why he's called a tzaddik, right? He fell a lot of times. Sheva Yippo Tzaddik, come. You want to look at the definition of what a tzaddik is? He has to fall. A tzaddik is the one who falls. Of a come, he gets himself up. That's a tzaddik. Tzaddik is not the one that doesn't fall. He falls and he gets up. We have to recognize that. We're, we're all pipelines of good. We're, good is, is always somehow coming through us. What that means is, and I know this all too well, I remember the days where I was sitting on the couch and everyone's buzzing around me. My husband's going, <sighs> and my kids are, why? And everyone's, and I'm sitting on the couch because I'm in an MS relapse and I can't do anything. I can't help them. I can't cook. I can't clean. I have a walker by my side. I have the cane on the other side and I can't move. And if I get up, I'll probably fall because I can't find my balance. I remember that all too well. Very, very well. Very, very, it's no matter how many years pass by, that's a living memory in me. But we have to understand is that good comes either by us doing or it comes through us. So something about that experience of when I'm in pain at that time then I wasn't the doer of mitzvah but people were doing mitzvahs in my name as though I was doing it so there's something good that happens through us right which we have to understand everyone's a mitzvah factory that's what I call us we're all living mitzvah factories Either we're doing the mitzvahs because God gave us the, 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 the amazing gift of being able to use our bodies in full function and to do whatever it is that we need to do, or mitzvahs happen through us. We can't do it, but other people around us are generating a lot of light in our name as though we're doing it. So we have to understand that. Now, whatever Hashem, however Hashem chooses us to be that beacon of light, and be that pipeline of light, that's that's not up to me. Again, somehow good is being generated through me, either by me, my body, or by me, sometimes, yes, having to go through um, a, a restriction of being able to use my body. That means that somehow some good is being generated around me when my kid sees me in bed or not able to move, and they're doing stuff in my name, something good is happening through for them by witnessing what I'm going through. I have to know that. And I have to be with Hachnan on that. Right? Hashem, you know better. I, I, I love using those words. Hashem, you know better. I don't, I, I don't know. My knowing doesn't feel good here. But you know better. And that's Hachnan.